I saw what happened to Yaradua happening to the president of Nigeria. Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video. The video about to watch right now is a mind-blowing prophecy from Prophet King Samuel. In this prophecy, he has revealed that he has seen Tinibu going. He said that what happened to our former president, late president Yaradua, is going to happen to Tinibu that we should pray for our president Bola Ahmed Tinibu. I'm not going to waste your time. I'll just like watch the video and listen to everything the prophet have to say concerning our president and our country, Nigeria. Please don't forget share the video also Black platform share with your friends and loved ones so they will know what God is saying concerning our nation Nigeria. God bless you as you do so. Watch this video. Prophecy number two South Africa. Nigerians in South Africa should be careful. There's a killing plan, massacre that will come only on Nigerians in South Africa. Another xenophobia will come and this one will be very bad i want to advise people in nigeria who have brothers in south africa or sisters or family members to tell family members in south africa to be careful something is going to happen that will be very bad and now i'm talking about south africa i'm seeing the coming election the coming election in south africa the current party ruling the election would go through tough time during the election but I saw the same party bringing the current president back There's another president back to party I mean as a president so we are going to pray for South Africa God is going to help South African nation and it shall be well with them in Jesus name Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is actually original prophecy number two. Prophecy number three. There's going to be a major earthquake in Japan. Major earthquake in Japan. And before I talk about Japan, there are countries that will go through dangerous climate change there is a dangerous climate and global change going on you must be very careful some things will start appearing and affecting the atmosphere that will make people become sick we are going to pray for Japan and pray for global changes and global warming or global climatic change it's going to be very bad and people will act with asthma. It will be a terrible year for them this year. So let's pray for them. So pray for Japan. I see earthquake. Let us pray for Japan. Hallelujah. Something will happen to Big Brother Niger TV program. It will put a hold on the program. Something bad will be unveiled. Pray for the hosts and producers. Pray for the contestants. Something will happen to BBN, Big Brother Niger TV program. It will put a hold on the program. Something bad will be unveiled. Pray for the hosts and producers. Pray for the contestants. That's prophecy number three. Prophecy number four, I'm going to be picking the ones I have, the ones that the Lord wants me to speak about. I saw a heavy lawsuit being fired to Atiku. We have a heavy lawsuit, there's a heavy lawsuit. And it will bring shame and disgrace. It's not a good one, it's a bad, it's a corruption, something that will be exposed exposed number number five there will be more secret things discovered about the former central governor of central bank governor so much 
that will be so shocking that will involve international charges. They will discover that the former Central Bank of Nigeria deputy, is it governor? Governor, they would uncover a truth, a secret that would be more than what they are investigating. They will discover more hands in it and it will expose a secret dark mystery in the former presidency of Nigeria that the former president of Nigeria will be brought to question. Not just him, but many people in that government. Many people in that government. Prophecy number six. We're going to pray for our president. Ola Ahmed Tinubu. I saw people telling him to go and rest. I saw a strange news that is not a good news. And I saw the vice president of Nigeria becoming more popular than the current president something is going to happen that will make the president to take a break but is this another break like Yaradua I saw what happened to Yaradua happening to the president of Nigeria pray for him hallelujah I'm sure you have all heard everything the prophet has said is going to be happening to our president Bola Ahmed Tinibu. He said that he saw him going. He said that what happened to late president Yaradua is going to happen to Bola Ahmed Tinibu. But please, I want to encourage us that we should do well to pray for Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Let us do well to pray for him. I know that some of us don't like him. Some of us don't like him at all. But please, we need to pray for him, especially if he is a believer. You see, the Bible encourages us that we should pray for our enemies, even those people that have hurt and persecuted us. So I want to urge us that we should pray for Bola Ahmed Tinibu, that God should strengthen him, that God should keep him alive, that God should like transform his health. I don't know what it is he's going through and whatever is going to be happening are based on what the prophet have said. But let us do well to pray for him. No matter how you hate a human being, I always say this, please don't wish them death. Whether you hate them or you don't, please don't wish anybody death. Especially if you're a believer. It is not consistent with what Christ wants us to do. Christ wants us to love everybody. He said that a new commandment I bring to you, that you should love one another, that you should love your neighbor. This is the only way that people will know that you are a servant and a follower of Christ. So it is important for us to love everyone, including Tinibu. I keep saying this, that Tinibu is a human being. No matter what is going on in the country at the moment, the worst thing you can do is to start wishing him death. Don't do that. Don't wish him that. Let us pray for him. If there is any other prayer you must pray, it is that God should intervene and help fix our country, Nigeria, or for God to intervene and make him and convince him to leave office so that the right person can take over power. But coming to say that you wish him death and all the rest, for me, it is a no. Let us not pray for him to die. Let us pray rather for God to touch his heart to step down if possible. And for whoever is right for the country to step in and lead our country, Nigeria. That is the kind of prayer you, you should be praying. Because I, I was saying it yesterday, a few days ago, to somebody saying that uh, he wished Tinibu to die and all the rest. I'm telling you that if Tinibu, anything happens to Tinibu right now, Peter B is not going to take over. His vice will take over. Don't forget, what, when uh, uh, what happened to Yaradua happened, who took over? It is good Lord Jonathan that took over. And if you listen to the prophecy very well, he said that he saw, he has seen the vice president become more popular and all the rest because of what is going to be happening to Bola Ahmed Tinibu. And that is why I want to encourage us that we should pray that whatever it is the enemy have designed to happen to Bola Ahmed Tinibu, that God should take it away in the name of Jesus. We need to pray for him. There is no point for me, if you ask me, there is no point wishing Tinibu death. 
He's a human being. Whether you like it, you like him or not, he's a human being. Stop wishing him dead. Stop that. It's not for me personally. That's my opinion. You can hate me or like me. Some of you now will start insulting me in the comment section. Some of you now will start saying that a hey, hey, APC member, this, that. First of all, I'm not an APC member. I am not from Yoruba. So before you say I'm, an, I'm APC member or uh, uh, I'm a Muslim or uh, I'm from Yoruba and all the rest, please, I am not from Yoruba. I am not a Muslim. I am not an APC member. I didn't vote for Tinibu. But what I'm saying, I'm looking at this from the angle of a believer. I am a believer. And the Bible did not teach me that I should go about, I should be going about wishing somebody dead. The Bible did not ask me to pray for, uh, for anybody to die. So it is important for us to understand this if we are believers. And what, anything we are doing, we should not even look at Tinibu alone. If this man dies right now, have you considered his children? Have you considered his family? I know somebody will come out and say, as he's suffering, Nigerians and Nigerians are dying. Did he consider the families of those people? You see, I, I, I don't know what to say anymore, but the only thing I am going to say is that we should not wish that Tinibu should die. We should not wish for that. We need to be careful of what we are wishing for. Mind you, if anything happens to Tinibu, his vice will take over. Be careful of what you wish, you wish for. Be careful of it. I don't want to say anything, but I need you to be careful of the things you are wishing for. Don't pray for Tinibu to die. Instead, pray that God should touch his heart that he should leave office. He should step down and leave office. Some of us, you see, we, we speak and we act based on our emotions. It is the way we feel, that is the way we speak it. But life is not like that. Things don't happen that way. Things don't happen that way. Let us do it to pray for our president, Bola Ahmed Tinibu. And I want to assure you one thing. You see this country, Nigeria. Nigeria is going to be better. Nigeria is going to be bigger. Nigeria is going to be greater. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do it to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell. So whenever I post another video, you'll be notified. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. Please don't forget, share the video on all social media platforms. Share with your friends and loved ones. So they will know what God is saying concerning our country, Nigeria. And please do me a favor. Like the video right now and drop a comment. By doing this, it triggered YouTube are going to continue to recommend the video with more people. God bless you as you do so. I will see you in the next video. You are blessed. Mm -hmm.